Welcome to Baloo's Tech How To's, where we dive behind the scenes into your favorite programs and softwares to determine how your favorite streamers get all of their bells and whistles set up, how you can add more interactivity and engagement to your streams using things like Mix It Up app. We're going to be jumping back into this program here today to look at something a little more unique, um, but you may find useful if you use different scenes and have the location of your alerts in a different spot for each scene. And that's going to be creating a separate or multiple overlays locally within Mix It Up app. So if this interests you, let's jump right on into it. When you open up Mix It Up app, you're going to be taken to the chat screen. From this chat screen, the first thing you're going to want to do when creating a second overlay is go to the upper right hand corner to the settings. So it's the little cogwheel up here. When you click on this, you'll see a menu full of a few different options. This is a good place to come when you first start setting up the app, but there's a few things to keep an eye on uh, when you start using and flushing the app out more. And one of those is overlays. So on the left hand side, you're going to see overlays here. Click on it and it's going to bring you to this menu. Now, if you've only got the one overlay so far, only the default one will show up. Make sure you go to the services tab to get that set up first. If you haven't done so already, you've already got that one set up and you're looking to create a second one. This is the place to be. Now, default, as I mentioned, will be there already for you. I've added in a test one, um, but just to show you how easy it is, we'll throw in a test two. Click add. And voila, you now have a third overlay endpoint within Mix It Up app. So you can close out of your settings now, just in the upper right hand corner again. And you're going to want to come over to the menu in the upper left. From here, you can go into your events, your commands, wherever you want to go to create an action that utilizes that endpoint. So I'm going to show you, for example, if you want your alert to be in the upper left hand corner. So on our follow alert here, you're going to hit play and you're going to hit test. So there we go. There's our standard alert. Say you have that set up for this scene here, but on a different scene, you've got something up in that upper left hand corner. Maybe your camera's up there. So you don't want that to be in that spot. Now, the easiest way to do this is using that second overlay. That way you're not shrinking the size of the overlay. You're not trying to fiddle around with locations and pixels and all that kind of stuff is just create that second local overlay. Now, what you can do is once you've created that overlay, click on the edit command button. And one of the easiest things I've found to do is just to hit the duplicate button. So that's just this two page looking button here. And so we've got one for our text and one for our image. So if we just hit duplicate on the first one and duplicate on the second one, we now have both of our text and image duplicated. So let's click on our text one first, and we're going to change the overlay endpoint and let's set it to test one. Um, what we can do now is change the location of it. So say we want it on the right and upper right. So we'll hit that and then we'll shrink this guy and we'll open the bottom one and we'll change the overlay to test and put it in the upper right. Now, when we hit save, you're going to see and run the test command. You're going to see two instances of it. And that's because I've got both of those local overlays on this scene. Now, again, you're only going to want to utilize this and have it show up twice on different scenes so that it doesn't actually repeat itself. We just had it both on this scene just to show you that it will play both at the same time. Another thing that you can use this for is if you are going to be running an overlay widget. So if you come to the upper left hand corner to the hamburger menu, you're going to see overlay widgets about halfway down. Click on the overlay widgets. And this is another place where you can start to utilize different implementations of your overlay. So if you want to run something like end credits, this one right here, you can put this on its own overlay so that it isn't interrupted by things like alerts. For example, it'll run through the credits and won't have anything pop up over top of it. Um, so same kind of thing. You're going to have a next button right here, click next, and you're going to have the editor menu pop up in this editor menu. You've got the overlay that you can choose from. So again, theoretically, we could throw this on test two, nothing else on test two right now. So it's only going to be this instance, this overlay, these end credits. 
So you can add test two as a browser source to your ending scene, wherever you typically wrap up the end of your streams. That way it only has to be on that scene. It doesn't have to be on any other scenes, but will allow you to create uh, an overlay specific to this widget. Hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, I love talking about all things and mix it up, diving in and breaking down this program for you to increase that interactivity and engagement on your streams. Let me know down in the comments below if you found this helpful. If you have any questions, I appreciate all the feedback so far. Uh, you can catch me live over on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Otherwise, I will see you guys here next time. Take care.